Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Called Angela Williams, where I'm talking about my broken ankle um, journey. Um, it's been a little over two years now. I originally broke it in April of 2019, but I'm sharing my story in hopes of helping someone else that's going through this journey. It can be kind of an emotional, mental roller coaster, as well as very physical, of course, as you know. Uh, but if you're just tuning into my channel, I did create a playlist with all the previous videos with lots of helpful things um, and hints that you can do along your journey too. So if you want to, go back and watch those in the order um, in which I recorded each one. All right, so we're going to continue on with the journey. Uh, at this point, um, like I said, I broke my ankle in April, had the um, surgery um, at the end of April, and got my cast removed at the beginning of June, started my physical therapy. And um, we're at my second go around physical therapy because my ankle is still very stiff and still not moving still sore and very tender but anyway um at this point in my journey in the month of july like around july 21st 2019 uh, i'm realizing that i need to adjust my crutches depending upon the type of shoes i wear and um you'll realize this too once you get started wearing back your shoes you know you're out of the you know cast if you had a cast or you're out of your walking boot you'll realize that you might have to adjust your crutches if you're still having to use your crutches at this point i was <laughs> um so i was i realized i'm making progress you know my tendons and linens they're they're stretching they're not as tight as they used to be i'm doing my um what they call homework exercises your ankle exercises where you're flexing you're rotating going up the stairs you know i might demonstrate uh, me doing some of those um, in this video or maybe a later video but uh, so I'm trying to do all those things that um, I showed you in a previous video about ankle um, um, exercises um, I'm realizing I can walk without my my crutch at this point I'm down to one crutch by the way but I'm I'm, I'm I'm limping you know it's not my normal walk gait yet at this point in the journey um, I try walking um, with the cane, this is my cane. Now, of course, I ordered off of Amazon, but I try to walk with the cane. Um, this one kind of breaks down too. Like, see how it, it'll break down like this? And you just fold it up, and then just it just snaps back into place. <laughs> but um, and it's adjustable as well. It has it's just like the crutches. You can adjust it as well. But I realize I can, and you know, purple my favorite color. But anyway, I realized I can walk with the cane um, now, you know, my, just my shoes on and everything like that. So um, I'm going to show you another walking video of how I'm doing on my progress right now. All right. But don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Got lots more to talk about. But it won't be long. And it's not flying. Oh, for sure. Well, I didn't sleep very well. I was so tired, but I know that there's so much we got to do. Yeah, I would really like to start looking for a resource. Yeah, there's a little something to put in our bellies. Yeah. I'm gonna go snorkel around that jetty and hopefully find some fish. So you saw that video. I think you can tell that I'm starting to walk better. You know, my normal um, gait. I'm not being as sensitive as, you know, not trying to bear too much weight on my left um, ankle, which is the ankle that I, I broke. 
Um, like I said, I broke all the bones and the ankles, dislocated it. It was, a, it was the worst of the worst of the breaks of what they tell me. So now, you know, starting my physical therapy with the new physical therapist. And um, like I said, the doctor was like, you know, if she ain't limping out of there, you ain't doing your job. Now, let me tell you, it was very painful because like I said, the ankle wasn't moving. It was very stiff and she's trying to get that puppy to move because you know after you get your cast off if you had a cast it's a very small window where you know you get, need to get that mobility in that ankle back you know um and your flexibility what they call dorsiflexion and everything like that so anyway uh, the physical therapy that she was doing she was just like pushing pushing like this is my foot she was just pushing on my ankle trying to get it to flex beyond 90 degrees and that hurt because it's like a, i don't know it's like a bone i still had the pins and rods in my and screws in my ankle and it just i don't know it, it, it just hurt y'all that's all i was screaming i was just cursing she was apologizing to people in the room like i'm sorry i gotta get her ankle moving <laughs> i was calling dear lord jesus okay and so then uh but before she started though she did let me ride what they call on the bike you know to warm up the muscles in the ankle you know everything like that and uh, no actually no she did that now she did the painful stuff first <laughs> then i rode on the bike to get it warmed up then we did some other exercises like heel stretches i held onto a bar like a gym gymnast bar you know I held onto that going up and down up and down you know and then i had got on this machine i don't know what it's called but you lay down you lay down like on your back and your legs are up and you're pushing these weights you're going down and you're pushing and your weights and you're pushing and then you lean off with your heels so anyway um most of the physical therapy that i did at that facility that's mostly what i did and then at the end I would get on the treadmill for like five minutes at two miles per hour and then I eventually would build up to um, the last thing I do would get on the treadmill 10 minutes uh, per hour I mean 10 minutes you know two miles per hour so that's basically what I was doing she was doing a lot of physical work with me trying to get my ankle um, to push and a lot of stretches and pushing and then just pushing down on it all kind of stuff it was just it was insane and, and it was very it was very painful <laughs> so um I don't know the next day after that of course i'm back you know working in the office going to work doing my physical therapy on my lunch break you know um just whenever i can and um i don't know i had like a mental a mini breakdown um let's say the emotions hit you sometimes some people go through it some people don't but um my husband helped me get through it um i think somebody at my job was telling me to use some what they call cbd um hemp oil topical cream to help with the inflammation because apparently a lot of inflammation goes on when you do this type of injury and that seemed to have been working. Um, I'll show you a video now of me walking uh, with my cane and, and me trying on different shoes because it makes a difference of the type of shoes um, that you're gonna be you're gonna be wearing. Uh, and I'll show pictures of, of the sh well, not pictures, but I'll demonstrate with some of the shoes that I have too. But um, I need to wear what they call walker uh, rocker rocker bottom shoes to help make my ankle flex. Rocker, you can think of like a rocker, you know it rocks, so it helps your ankle flex. And you know tennis shoes, of course. Um, but I will show a video next to me with the cane and trying on different shoes. So like I said, don't go nowhere. This video won't be long, so stay tuned.
right, so you saw me walking with the cane and my different shoes and everything like that, how I walk with different shoes and everything like that. Um, also, I was telling my physical therapist and the doctor, I seen her walk different barefoot, and the physical therapist, my new one, she seemed to like look at me kind of funny, like, what do you mean you're walking different barefoot versus different shoes? I was like, well, when I walk barefoot, I mean, I, I really don't walk that well. <laughs> Um, barefoot but with my shoes you know my rocker bottom to help my ankle flex I'm just you know I'm just going along you know but when I'm barefoot is different and it's still different to this day when I walk barefoot versus with shoes but I was like oh you're doing good I'm like no not really he's like you seem to be doing fine to me I'm like with shoes on he just can't seem to understand that it's, it's a difference with the shoes <laughs> uh, versus walking you know barefoot flat foot and I'm, I don't really have an arch and I'm a flat foot anyway and then you add on a broken ankle and some screws and rods in your ankle and you got a stiff ankle on top of that lots of inflammation and pain makes a big difference so uh, make sure you choose some, some good shoes for your situation okay but um anyway I did notice that I, uh, the next day that I woke up um, even getting out of bed walking barefoot that I was walking better and maybe because of the CBD hemp oil topical cream that I was putting on the um, ankle to help for inflammation I really don't know or maybe it was just a matter of time that it you know and, and for the physical therapy um, sessions you know maybe I'm not sure um, I know uh, for physical therapy uh, I started I always make sure I take like Tylenol and a lead before my physical therapy session you might want to do that too because you know it's gonna be painful so maybe that'll lessen the pain <laughs> after they get through you because they're manipulating your ankle and you're doing a lot of stuff with it and the sessions usually last like you know like an like an hour an hour long um sessions and everything like that um but this was like i think this day also was my first time one of my co-workers was doing like an open mic comedy sketch thing so it's my first time going on an outing um um by myself and I had to walk like six or seven blocks from where I parked from the parking but there was another I found out later on was a parking gar garage across the street from the place where he's doing comedy didn't know that so I had to walk like six or seven blocks um yeah L overdid the ankle it was very definitely tender and sore um yeah so thank god I had brought my my cane with me um um that day but I'll, I'll show a pic up here of the comedy show thing there but um but I had to get somebody to drive me back <laughs> drive me back to my car because I, I was I ain't it was so sore and tender I was like I can't walk those six or seven blocks you know um, back to to my car you know so I was like that's not gonna work um, also my physical therapist she didn't like me wearing what we call a, a hidden wedge shoe um, this is one I had I had bought um, you can kind of tell is a hidden wedge in here wait the wedge go down like that I like these. These were the first shoes I wore back to work, and I thought I was walking pretty good with these bad boys, but she did not like these, um, what they call wedge shoes. It has like a wedge in there. She didn't like that, because she just put my ankle in a position like this, and it really don't, it needs to be more like this. But it felt comfortable to me, but um, she definitely didn't like it. She preferred me to wear, you know, just tennis shoes, just tennis shoes, regular tennis shoes like this, you know. She preferred <laughs> So I started trying to wear, you know, regular tennis shoes when I went to work out with her, um, you know, anyway, but it is what it is. <laughs> she knows best, of course, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, she, cause she was like, it's defeating the purpose of what you're trying to do, increase your dorsiflexion of your ankle to go past, um, 90, 90 degrees, those wedge shoes I just showed you. Uh, she said I was making progress uh, with my ankle moving, so I was very happy. Cause I think that's why I was kind of sad and depressed the other day, cause I was thinking like, oh my God, is this ankle not going to move and the fact that she said i was making progress i was um, very very happy with that <laughs> um still not able to walk yet um you know the ankle still ain't quite flexing correctly that's the whole purpose of her working with me more so um so also i got some different type of shoes these are what they call the rocker bottom shoes these are rocker bottom shoes and you can tell, you know, so when I walk, they kind of help my ankle flex. And I, I be getting it up. I be getting it up in these shoes. And um, I got these from off of Amazon, too. Um, and also, got these off. These are also called rock bottom shoes. And you see a lot of nurses wear these shoes because they walk a lot. You know, helps out the ankle and stuff in the feet. But these are rock bottoms too. So I giddy up. I giddy up pretty good. <laughs> Old country saying. I giddy up. I giddy up pretty good in, in those shoes, too. So, um... So yeah, I mean, the Nikes, the Nikes were good. Um, your feet are swollen though, so these are really like, these are men's, I don't know, size eight or something, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, these these were pretty good. Your feet swell, so I, sometimes I had to get shoes that were wide 
like my shoe size but in wide when i normally wear medium because you're, you're a lot of swelling was still going on for me so and now that i'm healing the swelling's going down a little loose <laughs> on my foot but at the time that's 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 what i needed so so now I'm, I'm trying to walk um you know without limping and without any assistance um then the, the, my physical therapy said she mentioned something about a, what they call a dino split it's some stretch device um you know, she said, um, she was talking about it. She's trying to see if my insurance uh, would cover it. And I'll show a pic of it at the end. It looks like this is crazy contraction thing. Um, yeah, kind of crazy, but I'll show you a, a picture of that. Um, also, um, she didn't like me coming in there in my physical therapy sessions with the, with the crutches because she felt like I should be walking without the crutches. So I was, first time I came in with both crutches, she was like, uh, at least come in here with one. So I tried to do it with one crutch. <laughs> the next session and everything like that walking with the tennis shoes you know um you know i had to walk at work i had to walk down this long corridor uh at work so that's why i still had the crutches you know but um so today when i went back the next day i was supposed to get what they call that dino split like i said i'll show you a picture of that the dino split um and i woke up after using that dino splint um because supposed to wait at night um but well, not necessarily at night but at least you try to increase the time that you put it or have it on because it's stretching and it's, it's a lot of tension on there and you, you, you saw the pick of it it's like a mechanical thing where it's actually stretching everything so it you know it hurts after a certain period of time okay just imagine somebody pulling and pulling and pulling constantly pulling putting pressure on it pulling it so but i did notice that after wearing that that i was um able to um you know walk walk a little bit better um with it i noticed that i could walk a little bit better even barefoot um the next day after wearing the um madonna splint but i was scared to walk with run crutch to the bathroom so i still use both crutches i don't know i think it's just a mental thing um because usually when i first get out of the bed my ankle doesn't really flex and it's just it's like i'm walking like a kickstand i'm actually walking with that my left ankle that i broke like with a kickstand like walk. Well, it's it's weird but anyway um that's just i don't know but um so more physical therapy gonna be more painful um everything like that you know they was fitting me for that down to split thing um to wear for 30 minutes to see how i did with it before i actually um took it home then it's a tension it's a tension thing only where you can they started me at a four and as you go along you try to increase the tension of the down to splint um so yeah so i think i tried it with a 4.5 it felt like torture and she's like okay we'll put it back down to a four and after 11 minutes um but you're supposed to like wear it for like 30 minutes and try to increase your time up to an hour two hours three hours so on and so forth to wear it uh it's supposed to gradually increase it to three hours or the maximum which is six to eight hours so i was later on in my journey i started trying to sleep with that thing but <laughs> but anyway so i woke up you know my foot was like really really sore for some reason it was like this dull um aching i mean it, 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 it was hurting i don't know what was going on but i had to take um a tramadol which is uh, another type of painkiller um and then um yeah so i'll that dino splint thing yeah i'll show you with it with it on me um next so yeah but anyway um i wore that down splint for 45 minutes started out at a four like i said reduced i had to reduce it down at home to a 3.5 then i eventually then to a three because i don't know it, it does it does seem to be helping me walk better um, so, you know, I'm getting, I'm trying to get back into the normal groove of things. I like, you know, going out to lunch with people and, you know, um, quickly realizing though, after about two hours that my foot would start swelling and feeling uncomfortable, I guess cause it's just hanging down. I don't have it elevated. So it's still at that point where after just sitting for two hours, it starts swelling. I can't really walk. I have to like rock my, my ankle, and my foot, you know, I'm like, okay, this is what you're doing. So I'm cranking up, cranking up my ankle, trying to get ready to walk. It was just really, um really tender and, and sore but um you'll find it just start just shopping for all kind of shoes to see which shoes works best for you you know i i went shoe crazy i'm not even a shoe person but um yeah 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 yeah. so um i was walking around trying to find shoes it was a really hot day i think inside my car it said it was 102 degrees um i'll show you a pic of my ankle um, the swelling is kind of going down but um but this is the end of this video i hope you're enjoying this um the next video i'll be talking about um going to see a new ankle foot specialist doctor not my orthopedic surgeon who did the surgery and we um I'm, I'm going to her because i was researching what i can do to help my ankle and help reduce inflammation what was something new out there that they were trying is something called mls therapy 
and um, I'll put a description of that um, at the end of this video too if not I'll talk about it at the beginning of the next video but that's it so stay tuned with me I hope this is helping you as I said feel free to watch the other videos I did create a playlist and um, good luck on your journey all right talk to you later bye